causality is the single most important force in science. Yes. I'm, I'm convinced of that. If you don't have causality, you have nothing. And various factors defined by a, a, a statistician named Austin Bradford Hill speak to the strength of the association and the, the, the probability or likelihood that that association is causal. But one of them is what's the strength of the association, period. So if, if I knew nothing else, the um, was the asthma the 289 percent celiac celiac so the fact that that had such a strong hazard ratio that's a hazard ratio of 2.9 versus the others they're like 1.2 right. you would say well it, just on the basis of strength of association that one's more likely to be causal you then stated another factor which was reproducibility there's another study that's done the same analysis and it's coming up with the same answers so that makes it a little more likely to be causal and they talked about the dose effect even within the association like for example all of this was sort of figured out during the kind of smoking cholera epidemics when people were trying to understand causality and then you'd say well if smoking is causally related to lung cancer, then theoretically, my correlations should get stronger and stronger the more cigarettes you smoked. If that's not the case, it becomes very hard to make the case that smoking is causing lung cancer.